Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you and explain to you how you can set up alert policies uh, within the Compliance Center in Microsoft 365. Uh, first, let me explain to you what I mean by this. So uh, as an admin, right, as an admin of SharePoint, as an admin of uh, Microsoft 365, you probably want to know what you know kind of goes on in your environment and your tenant. And sometimes, you know, users might share a bunch of files externally. Sometimes they might do stupid things. Sometimes they might delete a bunch of files by accident. You kind of want to know upfront, right? Um, you, you know, if it's happening uh, so you can react, so you can uh, analyze the situation and so on. Uh, so uh, the two, there is a functionality that exists. Uh, it's a functionality available within the Compliance Center that allows you to create an alert uh, for you know typical situations, right? Uh, you know typical uh, to what I just described. So uh, let me explain to you uh, first how to set it up. So let's go to uh, the compliance uh, admin center. Obviously, you need to have access uh, right to, to this area. You need to, to have a, a compliance uh, you know admin role, or you need to be a Microsoft 365 global admin. Uh, and uh, then under policies, alert policies. All right. Essentially, when you click those, uh, you know, links, those buttons, um, you will see kind of a dashboard that looks like this, and it shows you. So when you click on it, it will actually show you a bunch of policies, out of the box policies that are already exist, right? For you know, common conditions, you know, similar to what I just described, there are already uh, you know policies cre you know created for you. For example, uh, unusual volume of file deletion. All right, there is already a policy that exists. Uh, in Microsoft 365. Now, uh, the downside of this is that you cannot set up uh, the exact triggers, right? Uh, it's kind of based on internal, you know, AI, artificial intelligence, and uh, based on the activities, and the system automatically determined what is normal, what is not normal, what is unusual, right? Uh, same thing with unusual external sharing. Again, uh, you, you know, in some organizations, in some cases, it uh, it could be a lot, in some cases, not too, too much, right? of external sharing, but the system decides whether or not to trigger the alert. So um, there are already built-in uh, policies. However, you can also create some of the custom ones, all right? And you can see actually here, I already created a bunch of custom ones, but let me carry you through the process. So you click on this new alert policy, you give it a name. Let's just say uh, that I want to uh, create a, a policy when um, you know, there is a, a lot of external sharing going on, right? All right, or maybe the file deletion doesn't really matter. So let's do uh, unusual uh, external sharing. I'll just, you know, call it like that to, 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 to make it different from the other, you know, a similar name that I have already provisioned. And then you can set up, uh, you know, this is just for you kind of, right? Uh, for the, you know, you mark the severity of this as well as the category. Again, this is kind of, you must fill in the blanks, but this doesn't really have any impact on the triggers. Click next. And then you select the activity. What will trigger this alert? All right. What will uh, trigger this alert? And essentially, it lists all the different events. And some of them related to SharePoint. Some of them are related maybe to some other applications. All right. It doesn't really need, you know, it doesn't, uh, you know, some of those have to do with email. Uh, let me just. Uh, type in the external, so right here, shared file externally, that's the activity I want to choose, all right? And this is where you, um, you know, uh, you set up uh, when, you know, the trigger should uh, occur, right? Every time somebody shares something externally, or you know what, I want to be, you know, obviously, right, if somebody just shared the file, I don't care about that, but maybe when, when there is a certain volume. So for example, when, when there are, more than you know 15 activities external sharing activities during the you know past hour and you can say on a single user so essentially what i'm saying here is if a single user shares more than 15 you know uh documents externally uh within an hour send me an email all right or you can again you know change it to whatever you want and um and by the way, right here, right, this is, uh, I don't like the setting because this is uh, kind of right, you allow the system 
uh, to make a decision what is usual, what is unusual. So yeah, let's stick with this one. Click next. And who the email will be sent to. Essentially, you specify the recipients. And you can actually put a limit to, you know, right? If there are lots and lots of alerts and emails sent out, you probably want to uh, limit that. But, you know, let's not worry about that. Click next. And uh, yeah, it's asking you where, when do you want to turn on the policy? Yeah, uh, let's uh, turn it on right away. Click submit. Now it does take some time. I think it takes at least 24 hours for it to propagate. All right. Uh, and uh, essentially send a, uh, you know, so it's not going to be effective immediately. It takes some time for it, uh, you know, to walk to propagate. Uh, but let me show you what will happen uh, now. So uh, here we go. This is the uh, alert, uh, you know, policy I created. All right. And you can always, you know, kind of, uh, you know, disable it, et cetera. Uh, but let me show you uh, what uh, it looks like, uh, you know, when the trigger is met, when, you know, essentially the, the activity has happened. Let me go to my Outlook. All right. Now, obviously, I'm not going to uh, uh, have you wait uh, 24 hours and, uh, you know, uh, for this alert to be triggered. Uh, but I just want to show you kind of a an email message that uh, you will be getting uh, when uh, things do occur, all right? So uh, essentially when uh, when the uh, trigger is met, uh, you will get an email, all right? It will come from this uh, email address to the recipient, the recipients you specified, and essentially it just will provide uh, a brief overview of the alert, but you can always, uh, you know, you can always, um, uh, click on the button and essentially it will provide you with additional information about that alert. Uh, by the way, by the way, let me show you something else. Uh, if you go to uh, alerts over here uh, in the in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So when we created the alert, uh, we went to policies, alert policies. But uh, if you go to alerts, it also keeps a log. So every time the email is sent, right, it actually... Um, uh, keeps a log of those uh, alerts here as well. So, for example, oh, look at this. Uh, I guess, um, you know, some time ago I got an alert about external sharing. And you can click on it and it will give you all the information, you know, uh, additional information, uh, you know, on what uh, triggered this uh, alert. It actually tells me, hey, you know, this individual right here uh, shared the document. And, um, you know, essentially it shows, again, the severity, the um, you know, how many times this occurred, um, you know, who the recipients are, et cetera, right? So uh, that's essentially what this feature is all about. Pretty handy features, in my opinion, for, for the admins, right? If you're concerned about governance, if you're concerned about the uh, data integrity within uh, your tenant, obviously worthwhile to set up some of those custom alert uh, policies and you, you will be getting email notifications if bad things do occur, right? So that's all I wanted to mention in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new as always. Um, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.